They took your phone. So you're right now you're swinging in the air. You can't even tweet. You can't even tweet right now. Fuck academics. Everybody can hear Meek Mill right now on the gram. Just tell them to sit, tweet. Fuck academics. You cannot. Your label got you like this. Got you like this, nigga. You're a puppet. You're a puppet. I didn't have a problem with you. I was trying to be fair. Maybe you thought, like, you know, I wasn't always in favor. But when you start talking about canceling me, now I got to I gotta make it look, I got to make you look crazy. Where did you cancel? So whatever power you thought you had, you, you, you picked the right one because you ain't canceling shit. What's up? I've did mad business with Rock Nation since I got at you. That's your partner, right? I did. Let me put it again. You're with Rock Nation. So, so who the fuck nigga act? Y'all can't respond. I did mad business with them. You know what everybody do? They hit me on their personal email. Shaggy, who cares? They hit me on their personal email. What did you do, Meek Mill? They don't respect you over there. You know why? You're a worker. Keep working. Keep the little thing you got going on. I'm going to keep exposing this little prison reform gangster shit you got going on, little double dutch. Don't worry. By the way, they can't tell me nothing. You feel me? I'll happily lose their business. Like, Rock Nation is cool. People who are Rock Nation is cool. Y'all ain't got that much money. I know. <laughs> I know. By the way, oh, wait. Rock Nation. Y'all the motherfuckers who's too cheap to buy Megan out of her contract with 1501. Y'all the motherfuckers who's too cheap to buy out, and by the way, I talked to Uzi's people, to buy Uzi out of his contract with Generation Out. Y'all got money like that. Relax. So, as I said, Meek, you're a peon. You're a, you're, as I said, one monkey don't stop the show. You might feel aggressive and, uh, uh, I'm the chase grade. I'm not talking tough shit with you. I'm talking facts. And if the people who I'm talking to want to ask you, why don't you, why don't you, you would tweet at me, he's, you're tweeting at Aki, can't leave, banned from the trenches. Why don't you tweet no more? I gave you the answer. He's on timeout. His label did it. Okay, let's keep the, keep it going. Oh, well, me, what about this? What about, what about, what about? I gave you all the answers. Meek is a puppet over there. They told him, quiet down. You know why? One monkey don't stop the show. You should have learned that before you started talking crazy like that. You're a piano. What's your artist's name? What's, what's his name? I'm going to look it up. You signed this guy. Remember the guy who saved the weird chains? You see me? I love this shit. <laughs> me, let me tell you this. When you your own boss, I'm my own boss. I'm my own boss. Your boss is like 6'9". They told me. When you're your boss, oh, you say whatever you want to say. You can't mention me no more. Nigga, they silence you like a, like a duck. Yo, yo. So you know what you... Well, well, I can't tweet at him no more. Yo. Yo, does he ever come to Philly? Yo, could y'all get him? Me, you look sorry. Okay. Let me give you a little more. Uh, um, What's your artist's name? Mm, I'll Google it. Me, no. By the way, let me know if 6ix9ine goes live. Like, what's happening there? Sure. We not, niggas say move on. We not, we not moving on to shit. Straight up. We not moving on to shit. When niggas try to cancel me and try to end what I've worked hard for, I'm not sitting here and being like just happy to be here. I'm not happy to be here no more. Let me just let you know that. So if you know. feel like I should just be like, oh my God, I'm glad Meek didn't cancel. Meek can't do shit. I'm letting him know that he can't do shit. Period. Yes, your artist Young Bro, who didn't have a chain. I don't care what business you have with him. And by the way, I, I don't have a problem with him. I just want to let you know. All that shit that you all getting mad at this and third. You just like money bag, yo, get mad at y'all labels. 
Rock Nation was sending that nigga over as Meek Mill's artist. Why you get mad at me? Rock Nation ain't know how to market him. They call him Rock. They call him Meek Mill's I artist. Dream Chase's new signee. Don't get mad at me. But you don't want to talk about that. Not easy to talk about shit. All I'm just saying, Meek, you can talk all that bullshit. You definitely got more money than me. I don't ever, I don't want to post that. But you're a worker. The Rock Nation is a fucking boss. And they told you to muzzle up. So stay muzzled up until you could actually talk again. And when you talk again, make sure instead of tweeting out green lights and dumb shit, because the only trenches you're gonna be you're gonna see me in is right motherfucking here. Instead of talking all that other shit, maybe perhaps you should just I don't know. Figure out what the fuck is going on with y'all. Chat, let me tell you this. Never let no artist. And I, yo, I love Drake. I love Drake music so much. Minute, but if you ever think I would sit here and let Drake cancel me, and what I've done for myself and my family, must be fucking me. Me, you was tweaking. Not that big. Artist who used to be that nigga. That little prison reform shit ain't make you that nigga. Remember that, all right? And if you have anything that you think I said incorrect, tweet at me. But you can't. Because so your label took your phone. So I can go back to this. Is 6 9 live? Somebody said 6 9 can't speak. 6 9 can't speak. I'm not live right now. Let's watch the rest of the video. I'm telling you, if y'all wonder why I keep mentioning, bro, I feel so offended, man. That nigga Meek really thought I was a peon, bro. Yo, Meek, me in 20, 2015 when I covered you is not me now, nigga. You will never cancel me. Over. Done. It's disrespectful that you even thought it, David. I really do feel that way. That's why I'm going to show rock every, single 30 minutes. Case, every single time that you didn't cancel me. If Drake don't give you a feature, if niggas don't give you a feature, your shit look like it's done. I'm not being aggressive with you. I'm being we're real. We're close with you. to eight. Little baby we're took close to spot. half a million dollars. You made a little Black Lives Matter, so you can make sure it's all you fucking want. That nigga shit debut. So crazy. How many pairs of niggas didn't want to hear what you had to say? Go kick with Robert Kraft, nigga. That nigga voted for Trump. Remember that. That nigga was talking all that crazy shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck does this nigga really think he is? You thought you was that nigga? Sad mistake. Hold on, sir. All right. Um, we were actually playing the song. Chat. I'm. I'm really sorry. I, I know. Y'all be like, yo, act, chill, you don't got... bro. Let me tell you this. When you have a nigga who try to cancel your livelihood, my nigga, you realize the gloves is off, bro. That nigga was celebrating when he thought I got fired from Complex. Me, I sat here and I advocated when I, when, when, when. When I thought there was a possibility of you getting out of jail, I sat here and advocated. And I didn't like you, nigga, based on personal things that went on. But I knew you were serving for a bigger cause, and I sat here and I said, "Yo, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start covering this nigga because he is representing something bigger than himself." But to see a nigga like Meek, Meek is the biggest hater in this fucking industry, the biggest. Meek hated on Tory. Meek, Meek, Meek hated on Drake. Me hated on all these niggas. Future. All of them. You're the biggest hater in this industry, nigga. Because niggas don't want to fuck with you or follow you or like just be under whatever the fuck you think it is. You a hater, dog. Straight up. They don't want to say it because some of them have patched, patched up any differences with you. But that's facts. You a straight up hater. And you never ever stand up for why you're actually hating on people. But today, and I'm glad I'm in the media, I get to talk about it every you said academics is bad for the hip hop culture, blah blah blah. That's why you're saying whatever. Defend it, nigga. I invite you to everyday show. You don't do that. I show up to Bahamas. You don't do that. I show up to Philly. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do anything, nigga. You a hater, nigga. Straight up. Nikki realized she had, she had to get rid of you. Drake realized helping you was a fucking bad deed. You a hater. You're the biggest hater in the music industry. I'm not getting aggressive with you. I'm telling you the truth. And if anybody disagrees with me, I'll take calls in five minutes. Talk to me. Meek is the biggest hater 
in the music business. Your girl brought you on tour and you hated on her. The nigga gave you two features who helped your album sell. You hated on him. A nigga saved you while you were being getting done by Drake and you hated on him. Because he signed the chick away and want to sign with you because whatever reason, because she felt you was trying to fuck her. My nigga, I know all the stories. You a hater. Meek Mill is a fucking hater. So you can say whatever you want to say, but just answer that. I'm down to have a conversation. You said I'm bad for hip-hop culture. I'm down to have it. We could show up on a neutral place. I'll show up to Philly if you want. If you want, I'll show up to Philly. You will not have that conversation. You a hater, my nigga. Straight up. Everybody says it. Everybody who really fucks with you or had fuck with you, they all tell me. Meek is a hater. If you're doing better than him, he starts to hate. Again, chat, if y'all watching me, y'all can say whatever. But I just promise you, I'm not saying shit. What the fuck? You still like two videos? Yeah, YouTube is broken. Um... I'm not saying shit out of whatever. I'm saying shit because it's true. I'm saying shit. He's here. He's on. Hold on. Um, let me see if I see it over here. My bad, chat. I apologize. 